What's going on everyone? This is Brian from Cruise Travelers and I'm going to go over one of the most popular questions on the internet about cruising and that is which hotel should I stay in that has free parking and a free shuttle? So come along, we're going to do it right now. Now this particular video is going to touch on every single cruise port in the United States. We're going to go over which hotel, how much the shuttle is, about how much the room should be. It should vary depending on what time of the year and how much the parking is. Now the first ones we're going over here is we have the top 15 cruise ports out of the U.S. And we're going to talk about uh, the hotel. We're going to talk about uh, how much it costs a night, how many days you get free while parking, and also if you extend your parking, how much that costs you each additional day. And then we're also going to talk about, about how far that hotel is from the port, what the shuttle hours are, if there is a shuttle back and forth. And you'll also have in the description down below, I'm going to put a a lot of the details about each and every one of these hotels you're going to have the location meaning the address of it and a lot of these details i'm talking about so look at the description down below so don't forget to subscribe to that channel click that like button click the bell button at the top it tells you when we've posted another video we're going to try to post one a week and uh, that would help us out a lot so to start things off right here we're going to start off with the baltimore maryland uh, cruise port and I found that the best place to stay in Baltimore, Maryland is going to be the La Quinta Inn and Suites. And that's about $129 a night. And like I said before, um, it can vary. But uh, what I've done is I've looked at a one night stay from a Friday to a Saturday and checking out on that Saturday, leaving your car there for one week. Now in Charleston, South Carolina, you should definitely check out the Wingate Inn by Wyndham. It's down in Charleston's cruise port. It's about $159 a night. You get up to 30 days free parking with really $0 for additional days. Um, it is about 10 miles away from the cruise port and the shuttle um, to the cruise is $14 per person each way. So they'll pick you up each way for $14. Now for the Fort Lauderdale location, we're looking at the Quality Inn and Suites Holiday Florida Cruise Port. And that's about $149 a night. You get 10 days free parking and it's $10 each additional night beyond that. And you're about three miles away from the cruise port itself. And the shuttle runs from 5 a.m. to midnight. Now, coming out of Galveston, Texas, you want to check out the Comfort Suites in Galveston's cruise port. It's about $129 a night. You get up to 30 days free parking. You get $5 each additional day beyond the 30 days. And you're about five miles from the cruise port. And um, the cruise shuttle is available at $15 round trip per person. So $7.50 each way. And now we're gonna check out the location out of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, check out the Travel Lodge Hotel at the Jacksonville Cruise Port. It's about $119 a night, and you get up to 14 days and $3 each additional day. You're about 13 miles from the cruise port, and, you are, uh, and your shuttle runs 24 hours a day. So that's great to know. All right, out of your Los Angeles location, your Quality Inn in San Pedro Cruise Port is about $139 a night and up to seven days, free stay, free parking, and each additional day is about $8. Uh, you're about two miles from the cruise port and the shuttle is $15 one way or 30 round trip per room up to four people. So don't forget that. Now for Miami, we have the Red Roof Plus Miami Cruise Port Hotel. It's about $133 a night. 
you get free parking for up to 10 days and seven dollars each additional day and you're about six miles from the cruise port uh, there's free drop off to the cruise port and pick up from the cruise port and it's available at ten dollars per person so if you get free drop off to the cruise port the pickup is about ten dollars a person now we're looking at the mobile alabama location try out the microtel inn and suites at the cruise port it's about 129 dollars a night it's free parking up to 14 days and each additional day is five dollars you're about nine miles from the cruise port itself when you stay at this hotel and the shuttle runs from 8 a.m to 5 p.m um, there's free parking for the duration of the cruise, free shuttle to and from uh, the cruise port for two people, but each additional person you bring along is going to be $10, but don't forget they also have a free breakfast there as well. Now, for the cruise port going out of New Orleans, you have uh, the Holiday Inn North New Orleans Cruise Port Hotel. It's about $159 a night, and you have free parking for up to 15 days and $5 each additional day after that. You're about eight miles from the cruise port, and it does not have a shuttle. You have to call a taxi. So the, this is one of the few locations that you have to taxi or uh, call one of your ride shares. It could be um, Uber or Lyft ride share. So definitely check them out. There is no shuttle for the New Orleans Holiday Inn North Hotel. Now for New York, it's a little tough in New York. There is a place at the Comfort Inn in Midtown West. It's $269 a night and parking is not free. And the dates and time and cost may vary. Um, so you'll definitely want to call and check. Tell them your dates you're staying and ask them how much the parking is. Now for Port Canaveral, Try out the Days in West Coco, Cape Canaveral. It's only $109 a night. You get free parking for up to 30 days and $5 each additional day. The shuttle is free round trip shuttle to the cruise for two people. But if you're gonna add additional persons beyond the two, it's gonna be $15 per person after the first two. You get free parking for the entire duration. Uh, so definitely check that out. Now for your San Diego, Holiday Inn Express San Diego at the cruise port is about $139 a night. You get free parking for 14 days and each day after that it's going to be $10 each additional day. Uh, you're about three miles from the cruise port. You just call, ask for the shuttle and they take you down there. Now for San Francisco, San Francisco is another tough one. Um, the Holiday Inn in San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf is about $199 a night. Parking is not free in dates and times of the, and the cost of parking may vary. So if you're going to stay there, make sure you call, but they do have parking available, but it does cost you. Now with Seattle, um, you'll want to try out the Knights Inn in Seattle Cruise Port. And that's about $119 a night. There's free parking there for up to seven days. And each additional day beyond that is going to be $7. And you're about eight miles from the cruise port. The cruise shuttle is an outside company. And it, they charge you $25 per person each way. So that's pretty expensive. So you may want to try out maybe an Uber or a Lyft, a ride share to see if it's a little less expensive because for only eight miles, you should be able to get there for probably no more than 10 or $12 for up to four people in a ride share. So try that out. And the last location we have coming up here is Tampa, Florida. I want you to try out the Roadway Inn in Tampa Cruise Port. It's about $119 a night, has free parking for 14 days, and each additional day beyond that is gonna be $5. You're about four miles from the cruise port itself, they do have a free shuttle from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So check out the free shuttle. If uh, you want ride share as well for four miles, it's probably going to cost you between nine and eleven dollars to get there. So you may want to try ride shares as well. So that's it, guys. That was the top 15 hotels to stay at in the 15 ports in the U.S. I know a lot of you have been asking about this, and I hope this definitely helps you out. Once again, don't forget to help the channel, subscribe, click that bell so you're alerted when we uh, create
create another video and post it. Click that like button. And thanks so much for joining us here, guys. We are the Cruise Travelers, and we're going to see you on the next cruise. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy.